William Butler Yates wrote, too long a sacrifice can make a stone of the heart. You see that everywhere around the world. The crash had a very long tail. Inequality increased. There are episodes of terror in the United States and elsewhere. Everywhere today, there is a temptation to say, life is a zero-sum game, and I'm losing. Our differences matter more than our common humanity. So I say to you, don't ever give your mind and heart away. Don't give up on what brought you here. You have to believe in possibility. You have to cultivate a culture of possibility. Today, we are celebrating our bronze award that we received from the Alliance for Healthier Generations, one of the U.S. healthiest schools. Gateway Elementary and Gateway Michael received this award this year because they met or exceeded the criteria and the standards set forth by the Alliance. We decided to establish on the 10th anniversary a CGIU honor roll. A lot of these people started their projects with a couple hundred bucks, but they've had a significant impact by being willing to stay at the job. So in 2013, I co-founded Block Power as a Clinton Global Initiative University commitment. Block Power aggregates energy users in underserved communities like bed -Stuy, and we help them access energy efficiency financing and technology such as solar panels or high efficiency heating systems. We've had more than 30 days of action across the country. It's an integral part to our CGIU experience now because we can show our gratitude in leaving them a little more beautiful than when we first arrived. When a baby is born, a baby has 80 billion brain cells. And it is how these brain cells connect that will determine who we become. Parents are the most influential people in a child's life. This is work where we continue to need as many partners as possible to raise awareness about how important it is in any language to read, talk, and sing to your children. The depth and the breadth of the opioid epidemic it involves social norms, it involves physician and patient knowledge, it involves our attitudes toward pain. My son died in an epidemic. In an epidemic, people die, people lose, nobody wins. This needs to be stopped. Having the town hall meeting about opiate abuse, prescription drug abuse, was absolutely essential to us seeing our governor sign legislation to make sure that the antidote can get into the hands of people without a prescription, without the Clinton Foundation. I do not believe we would see that in Arkansas. I'm the daughter of a janitor, I'm a refugee, I'm a child survivor of war and genocide. So I am overwhelmed that I can say I've had the opportunity to learn from the presidents of our country, from their cabinet members, from their advisors, and gain insights about leadership. All of this is possible only because President Bush and President Clinton collaborated to create an experience that produces bold and principled leaders. We've got thousands and thousands of schools in the Alliance for Health and Generation. We can have thousands more. We've got an enormous number of universities involved in the CGIU program, we can have a lot more. There are some pretty impressive programs for women and girls, although very few at this level, but we could do more. This is about the future, and anybody who's thinking straight would desperately want this to happen. Even if you didn't care about these kids, you should be selfish enough to care about the future for your kids and your grandkids, and they're a big part of it one way or the other, and they're gonna be a big positive part.